Welcome to another Illustrate AI tutorial. Today I will show you how to fix the minor errors that occasionally appear in the generations. I will use Photoshop to address these imperfections. I've published some illustrations earlier. In the Illustrate AI library you can find and download them if you're a Plus member. Simply sort by new and search for the word Flamingo. I like the third illustration from the top, so I click on it to view it larger. As you can observe, it has some flaws. I believe it attempted to add some tiny flamingos, but as you might recall from earlier tutorials, it can have difficulties with small objects in the distance. To download the image onto your computer, click the download button. To better locate the images in the folder, you can right click and select view extra large icons. It's also advisable to rename the images. Open the image in Photoshop. You can use Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus shortcuts to zoom in and zoom out of the image. Additionally, if you press and hold the spacebar, a small hand icon will appear, allowing you to pan and scroll across the canvas. Now let's select my favorite tool for fixing small mistakes in Photoshop, the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Just like with any brush, you can adjust its size to make it smaller or larger. You can also utilize shortcuts. Tap the left square bracket key to decrease the brush size or the right square bracket key to increase it. Click the left mouse button, drag over the portion you want to fix, and then release. It's important that the brush is larger than the area you intend to correct. Do the same for other portions of the image that need fixing. You can click multiple times. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can always undo and try again using the Ctrl plus Z shortcut. This shape is quite strange. It resembles a flamingo with two heads, so I'll be fixing this as well. Now the illustration looks much better. When you're satisfied with the results, go to File and choose Save to store the image. Let's examine another example. The first image of the flamingo looks intriguing, but there's a random signature at the bottom. As we discussed in a previous video, these aren't genuine signatures. The AI simply attempts to mimic real-life images where artists often sign their work. If I include my name in the prompt, the AI might occasionally add it as a signature. Let's use the spot healing brush again to remove these signatures that the AI created. It seems to read, Flamingi Lakes, which are typically mutations of words found in the prompt. Let me introduce you to another tool, the Patch Tool. This tool allows you to make a selection of a part of the image. After making a selection, you can drag that patch over the area you wish to clone. So, if I want to remove a signature, I'll drag the selection over a clean area without the signature. If that area has a texture, the tool will copy that texture over. The illustration looks good. We can save it and proceed to another example. Now, I'll search for Highland Cow. I generated this image yesterday and I liked its appearance. However, as you can observe, the birds don't look too appealing. I could have added birds to the negative prompt to prevent this, but sometimes you appreciate an image for what it is and can quickly rectify any issues in Photoshop. As you can see, using the same spot healing tool allows me to quickly remove them. I simply make the brush slightly larger than the bird. Duplicate the layer, and I'll demonstrate another quick trick to adjust the shapes in the illustration. In the filter menu, you can locate the liquify option. Use the first tool, which is the forward warp tool. What's crucial here is the size of the brush. To reshape larger forms, use a larger brush. If the brush is too small, it may appear as if you've smudged tiny sections. Observe how I can modify the shape of the horn or other body parts. 
You can use this tool to adjust a variety of elements, including fingers, hair, and clothing. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it using the Ctrl plus Z shortcut. The Ctrl plus shortcut for zooming also works here, as well as the spacebar to move around and other shortcuts. Be mindful of your surroundings and avoid moving parts that are too close to the edge, otherwise, you'll be left with blank transparent areas in the image. You can toggle the layer visibility to compare the before and after. Just remember, if you overuse the liquify tool, the image might lose some clarity or appear blurry in certain areas, as you're manipulating the pixels of the image. Pick the object selection tool and draw a rectangle around the bird to get a selection of it. By using the Ctrl plus J shortcut, you can jump or copy the selected bird to a new layer. From there, you can move it around, allowing you to replicate the bird and create more of them in the sky. Use the Ctrl plus T shortcut to transform the bird, making it smaller to achieve a more natural appearance. When you're finished editing, right-click on a layer and choose Flatten Image to merge all the layers together. Save the image, and let's proceed to the next project. In the Illustrate AI library, search for Penguin. Here's a charming illustration I generated. I'll download it and fix those flaws. It has some ice fragments in the air that slightly divert attention from the penguin, so I'll remove those. I'll also remove the signature from the bottom right using the same spot healing brush tool. Save the image, and let's transition to another project. Search for cute cat in the rain. Download the illustration that has some leaves in the air and a signature. Let's examine how we can rectify these issues. Zoom in using Ctrl Plus, and let's fix the leaves. Next let's move on to the signature. Let's use the liquify filter again and see if we can make some adjustments to the image with it. Right click, flatten the image, then save it. We're now ready for the next project. Search for a skeleton wearing a witch hat. For this illustration, I prompted Scarecrow even the title given by AI is skeleton. This particular image with the birds captures the spooky mood I'm aiming for, but it also has some imperfections I'd like to enhance.
The spot healing brush is effective up to a certain point. However, there are situations where transitioning to digital painting becomes necessary. Depending on the scenario, you might opt for a hard or soft brush to paint over and rectify the imperfections. In this demonstration, I'll use a mouse, but I typically utilize my Wacom tablet for such tasks. It consists of a pen and a tablet. As you move the pen across the tablet, the corresponding movements are reflected on the screen. What's more, it's equipped with pressure sensitivity, which means it can detect when I apply more pressure and will adjust the brush accordingly. Before AI, artists, including myself, would paint these images using Photoshop in various styles, dedicating hours to the process. Now, you can swiftly generate an artwork and then paint over it, refining specific sections to achieve the desired look. As you can observe, it features an orange eye. But what if I wish to replicate or clone this eye to the right? You can accomplish that effortlessly using the clone stamp tool. Enlarge the brush using the square bracket keys so it covers the entire eye. Then, use Alt plus click on the eye to sample that portion of the image. Wherever you click next, that part, in this case the eye, will be cloned. Let's select the brush tool again. We'll add some yellow eyes to the birds to make them stand out more. You can use Alt plus click to sample the color you desire. You can also choose a light color from the moon and introduce some tiny highlights in the eyes, just a few small circles. Save the image, and it's time for the final project. In this photo, there's a pole situated in the center of the image. I'd like to eliminate that. To achieve this, we'll make a selection slightly larger than the pole itself. Then, navigate to Edit and choose Content Aware Fill. You'll notice some green regions. These indicate the areas from which the software will source content to fill in the selected region. You can utilize the plus and minus brushes to include or exclude portions, and on the right side, you can observe the evolving changes to the image. If the result isn't perfect and you wish to make further adjustments, you can merge down that new layer and apply the content aware fill again, but only to the portions that still require correction. Join our Facebook group community for more tips and tricks related to AI, design, and crafts. We also host daily AI challenges, which you can participate in to hone your prompt engineering skills. Please like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it greatly helps me grow the channel and enables me to create more tutorials for you. Thank you for watching.